good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are. Whatever time zone you're in. It's uh <laughs> it's just turning into afternoon here. <laughs> Kitty cat's on a roll. She just I just gave her some catnip and she is <laughs> racing all over the place. Feeling good. <laughs> I have a spinny chair and she gets up, she jumps on the chair and it makes, she makes it spin around. It's hilarious. She's been doing that since she was a kitten. That was her favorite thing to do. Anyway. So here's another Enon thing. You might not think it's Enon yet, but it is. So this is, an, this is um, back in 2018, February 9th, um, by Evan Ellis News. It's a major drug bust on Pullman, co Pullman's College Hill. Nets three arrest heroin, meth, and over 14K in cash. Three people have been arrested in a major drug bust on Pullman's College Hill. The Quad City task, Drug Task Force executed a drug raid at a residence on Tearview Drive Thursday night. The task force obtained a search warrant after reportedly receiving information that the occupants of the home had illegal narcotics. Authorities say... They seized several ounces of packaged heroin, methamphetamine, and over $14,000 in cash. 22-year-old Brianna McCabe of Pullman was arrested on, for possession of heroin with intent to deliver and possession of methamphetamine. methamphetamine. 43-year-old Jedediah, Jedediah Ford, and that's not the first time I've heard that name, Jedediah. Where else did I hear that? He was much younger. Oh, that's weird. This is giving me a flashback on something. I can't remember what it is, but I'll find it. Anyway, Jedediah Ford of Seattle was arrested for possession of heroin, while 25-year-old Jessica Wallace of Lewiston was arrested for possession of meth. Now, this is interesting because if you look at the, the arrests, the typical arrests that are made in that area, there's always one older person and two younger people. And they're usually females. It's usually a guy, the older, and two younger females. That is definitely a pattern there. Anyway, so there is, um, this is the actual... I'm trying to find a certain thing in here. Actually, it's just the same. Okay, I'm going to go back here. Because I want to read you something. So this was back in 2018. So the last one I did on him was in 2010, where he was, um, you know, arrested. And so this one is when someone else was arrested. So there's comments in here. And you've got a Reuben who tags an, a crystal, a girl named Crystal. And then you've got Enon. Pops right up. And he likes to put in his two cents. Small drug bust does nothing to stop heroin epidemic. Wrong spelling there, buddy. Girl on first criminal charges as a heroin addict faces 12 years for first sentence, while people with over four burglaries, wrong spelling, breaking into your home to steal things. Still don't get any jail time. I'm just going to stop with the wrong spelling because there's just plenty of it in here. Breaking into your home to steal things and don't get any jail time and can live in special nonviolent spaces like college dorms dealers can't. So is he? So here he's, he's telling me he lives in a special college dorm, right? Or not dorm, but in a space, in a space, nonviolent space like college dorms, dealers can't. That's where he's at. He's in the middle of a university in a college. It, like that's their that's their places to rent, right? But who's in there? Who's renting in that in that queen apartments? Well, there's there's SOs. You know, S offenders. There's Enon. He's been in jail a couple times. Never really got a lot, uh, much of a sentence because, well, I'm, I don't know. You, you can probably figure that out. I mean, I'm, I just, I'm speculating that, but I mean, it's kind of a known thing that happens. You know, you get a lighter sentence for doing something for them. So he says, keep pretending like this is a bigger deal than the people breaking into your homes at night and stealing things. So who is he referencing? Did you do you remember him talking about this in his interview? How he talked about that nobody locks their doors here; that you can just walk on into anybody's home. Does he know this from experience? It sounds to me like he does, in my opinion. Awesome! Take more drugs off the streets and get it and away from our younger generation. Good job, 
Enon replies. Oh, it's gone now? No. Oh, it was such a good reply. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, no, I should have made this sooner. Oh, basically, oh. So, basically, his reply, this is making me sad. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. I should have done this the other day because it was there. It was, this was there. Um, well, it was there the day I made the other video, so he's obviously seeing my videos is what I'm thinking. Well, Enon, this one's for you because this one was about, he was talking about basically, oh, how do I put this? Germany and the, the, uh, people that died there, you know, that were put in, you know, like the, he called them stoves, I believe. So isn't this interesting? Hmm. Anyway, he, interesting. I don't know why this isn't doing this today. Well, you know what? I'm going to come back to this and see if maybe later it'll, it'll pop up and it'll show here because this is not normal. So maybe he hasn't seen my stuff. Maybe this is just what, something that's going on with Facebook right now, which could very well be. So for now, I'm just going to stop this particular video. And I'll, if, if it comes back up in a little bit, I will continue recording. They disappear. These are the ones that were uh, were gone yesterday. So the Enon Harsh, after he comments on the uh, not stealing a thing up here, he says, another black sheep who will try to find someone to blame rather than a work a solution. Same ignorant sheep as the brainwashed soldiers in Auschwitz working the ovens. Oh my gosh. Um, and then people just come, they're like tagging other people and stuff. And you know, he did make another one. Let's see, I don't see it on here though. Yeah, I don't see it on here. It must He must have deleted that one. But, uh, yeah, this one wasn't showing up the other day, so that's why I thought, ah, I just clicked on it. I'm like, oh, my God, it's here. It's here. So, anyway, this is Enon, you know, putting himself in the middle of these things. For why? Anyway, so what I was basically saying on part of this is, is a look in, to look out, there's usually two younger girls. When they're busted, there's usually two younger girls and one older man. And this guy, Jediah Ford, I've seen his name before. I don't know where I've seen it, but I have seen his name recently. Like, real recently. Like, maybe within the last two weeks, maybe. And, oh, man, I'm just like, I know him something. So, anyway, I'm going to check into it. I'm cooking breakfast right now. So, <laughs> you'll hear a little crackling, but I saw this and I was like, i got to get it on now. Okay, so I'm going to pause you and, and we'll see if I can find something else to pop on here real quick before I let load this one. All right, you guys, take it easy. Hey, you guys, I'm just doing this on the, the latter part of the video here because I was going to put up the, you know, the picture and stuff with all that, you know, title or something on it. And I got to looking at these pictures and the two that really stood out to me are, is this one right here, these two right here. The, on the end right there because these pictures right here show you show me anyway that there's something behind those eyes he is not always this guy no he is not he is um like the many faces of Enon yeah he he's a thinker and, and, and he's almost laughing at us right here. Can you see this on this, this just underlying smirk on his face? So this, um, can't remember which interview this was, but I can't remember which one it was, but anyway, he, what he would do, and, and this is how I first noticed it, was that he would be talking Oh, so this was maybe with Lauren, possibly, uh, which was a pretty good, it was really good. She did a good job. But he'd be talking, and then he would, like, look off to, like, usually to his, like, his left, over his left shoulder, and then he'd just start talking, and he, and he, his eyes literally went blank, like, black behind him, like, literally, like, he was just running off of a script, 
just just and 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 he had, that he he had uh, memorized it, and he was just talking, and you could see there was no thought pattern, no no nothing to it. It was just literally like a script that he had memorized, and this is really bothersome to me actually. Um, and you know here. I mean, he could be anybody here. This is how he he can change his looks so drastically. I mean, he could be he could go to any Middle Eastern company co uh, country right here and fit right in. I mean, even the hills behind him almost look like you know the barren the the terrain over there. I mean, he he just looks totally different in in all of them. So, if you, whoever does not think, you know, you always think that Enon's just this goofy, goofy guy. Yeah, he puts on a good show, but Enon's smart. He's way smarter than you guys know. And he is, I think he is a, um, what do they call it? What is it, what is a, like a, li a life or student or, he's always taking classes. I think he's always in college. I think he infiltrates the colleges. He is the, because he can look so young. You know, he can look really young and, you know, let me see some of these pictures. Like, oh, let me see. Let me, let me see if I can find one here. Hold on. So we got him, like he can, so this is obviously in the apartment that he is in now. Because look at the ceiling. So what this makes me think is how long has he been in this apartment for one? How long have they been paying for him to be in this apartment? Because he looks fairly young there. So that's that's a while, you guys. That is a while. And it, you know, he he's got a job. And it's not just cooking, in my opinion. And if you want to see bushy eyebrows, take a look at those eyebrows. Now that's bushy eyebrows. BK doesn't have bushy eyebrows, in my opinion. Enon, yeah. Real bushy. So another thing is, why do the cops stop him like they do? Why are they always stopping him? To keep an eye on him, maybe? Because, you know, he's got a job to do, and he can't be messing around, you know, just messing, you know, just screwing off. I mean, he looks like he just got caught doing something, don't you think? And he's like, oh, you caught me again. Oh, hi, uh, officer, so-and-so. I don't think it's all just, I, it's not, yeah. And it's just, it's too awkward. And then for him to, for them just to like, I just, it, just to, you know, pull him over. Put him, did they even put him in cuffs or did they just stick him on the side of the road and talk? And what, and what did they do? Wait for somebody, a guy to come drive him because he had a, um, his license was out of, out of date or something like that or his registration or something. Um, driving on a suspended license maybe or something like that. But, you know, any of us would have gotten, we would have gotten freaking arrested or something. I mean, you know, why is, there's a reason for that. So I've just been looking through pictures and I just got kind of lost. I'm literally, I just spaced out looking at pictures for, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes. And I just need to do a video on all of the stuff that I've got. It's so random and it's so, there's got to be something in there that somebody can figure something out it with because it's just, I've got some stuff that I, I, I don't, nobody, I don't, I've never seen anybody even remotely talk about. But I just ran across this, and uh, you know, the, everybody's always asking Enon, you know, what, what did they, what, you know, what was said on, or the license plates thing or whatever. So he says, I think, saw a, I think BMW-ish luxury style SUV car, with out of plate, out of state plates, looked semi familiar, so I think it's a close state like Montana or Utah I think tinted windows around 1 30 a.m. Saturday night at the corner of Queen and Anne okay so here's something that's really interesting 
Queen there in Seattle, there is a there's a um, a neighborhood called the Queen Anne, and it's a Queen Anne Hill is what it is, and his the owner of Queen Road Apartments. His his address links back. It goes to Bellevue, and then it links to Queen Anne Hill. And then it links to, uh, this is so crazy, it links to a place in that area that's literally smack dab in the middle of all these children type um, businesses, like children's dentists, like a play playhouses, like, you know, children's museums, you know, it's children's daycares. It's, it's smack dab in the middle of it. And that's where the address is linked to. And I think it's weird that he uses this um, at the corner of Queen and Anne. So that makes me think, because it's Queen and King, right? So this makes me think that Queen Anne is on his brain. Because there's Queen Anne Hill in Seattle, right? And he's, 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 he's been to Seattle. He's, north, he's used to that area. So it's notice that spot was empty on Sunday and replaced by cop cars. Listen to him. And replaced by cop cars on Sunday. Seems sus now as someone who lives here. The non-resident cars usually stand out to me, but I was tired. Did you notify the police? Uh, so. He's. This is so bizarre because I feel like he's putting the police in its place, right? Like he's like calling him out is what I is how I feel with this. So or or, you know, trying to switch it around, like trying to, you know, keep the attention off of him or whoever. I don't mean, I don't even know, but, but no one else has mentioned this black SUV, right? No one else has. But I think that the one that stood out to me was the Burgundy one at 1230, that particular one right there. And that was a pretty expensive rig from what I understand, right? So, and if you're thinking Montana, that's where, um, uh, Dan, the owner of, um, the, the house lives at 1122 and the car that was found in Eugene driven by Brian Mumby who is a graduate of University of Idaho was uh, actually lived lived resided in 1122 King House when he was going to school and he graduated uh, forest service he's got forest service background and his, his degree and stuff and he traveled all over the place like he was like a, he, you know, like, you know, like at Forest Rangers, how they just do like seasons, seasonal type stuff. He traveled all over. Like he was in St. Marie, St. Marie's, which is where, where Payne's from, you know, Officer Payne. He was in the Palouse, which is where Mark Trivelpiece is from, which is the one who owns the Corner Club. Literally all these little towns that he bopped to. And it's, I think he would go from like, um, April or May till like September, August or September, and then he'd go to the next one. So he was only there for a year and he traveled all these different places. And now he's in Eugene. Well, when they found the car in Eugene, he was asleep in the car. And if you see the video of the girls that walk up to it, the seat was leaned back, like it was leaned back. And not only that, but in the front seat, in, in in that car, if you slow that video down, you can see blood all over in that car. There's blood on the passenger side door. There's blood on all the seats. There's there's a prescription uh, for shingles, which is open, and on the floorboard of the passenger side, there's a clump of hair on the on the floorboard of the passenger side. Not to mention, you know, red stuff, blood, crimson all over that uh, that area too. There's the black. There's a black mask in there, black face mask, like a Corona type one or COVID. And so, with the shingles thing, someone one of the comments in the one of his videos was saying that that people that are leaving out of out of the country will sometimes have the, in order to go, to, depending on which country you are, you know, you have to take your, you know, you have to take that that particular shot. There, you know, it's 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 mandatory, you know. So. Was was there someone that was going to be leaving? What you know, ch you know, checking out for a while. I mean, everybody seemed to be going. Everybody seemed to flee after that. 
I mean, okay, so Adam, Adam was in Spain. Allegedly, the berries went to Spain because it says it on there. You know, it, it they actually wrote that comment on theirs before they even before they got rid of it. Um, Hunter and Emily went to like Puerto Rico or something like that, which is where all the eco boys are, all the eco shield. Now that's a whole nother story right there. That's a whole nother story, and one that needs to be talked about. I don't know anybody that's talked about it, not really, really talked about it. I mean, I could really talk about it, but I'm kind of freaked out about talking about it because I think that 1122 is very much involved with EcoShield. And I believe, whew, yeah. So if anybody wants to, you know, I don't know. That one has been touchy for me because it's scary to me. Um, that's where Kaylee was going to go work at the, at, a, at a, the, 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 basically the head of all of it. Cause it's all a, a bunch of umbrella companies and this eco shield pest control is where all the frat boys of the university of Idaho go on their, you know, their, their vacations or whatever, or their, their times off or their, you know, break from school. And they're there for four or five months and they make like 25 grand in four months selling bug, you know, going door to door selling bug pest control. No, I don't think so. No, not no. Nah. I've 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 delved in that so deep, and literally there are <laughs> video after video after video, review after review after review of people saying, "Oh no, that's not what it's like." No, 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 no. <laughs> so. Why they make it look good though? Why they make it look good? I mean, on their on their posts. That's all they're doing is like laying in the sun, traveling from country to country, you guys. Country to country. They all have nice cars and they look like they're living in nice houses. I want to know who the Johnson, who I want to know who Mr. Johnson is. They go to a house in Texas. It's a big, huge house. And it's basic. And then they, they call it Mr. Johnson's. Who's Mr. Johnson? All I can remember is like, what is it? Old Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own. He had a big yellow cat who wouldn't leave home. <laughs> that is a crazy song. He was just singing that as a kid. Uh, but it's uh, it's about a cat. Well, yeah. But the cat came back is what it was called. But it's like there's pictures. So there's some of the some of the guys make TikTok videos of this of this house, and they it's like a backdrop. So it's like the house they all go to and stay at. And they act like it's, you know, their new pad. You know, their this is this. Uh, I made all this money, and this this is what I got for making all this money. And they walk through the driveway, and there's like these nice, you know, nice cars. And they walk into this house, all these leather couches, and and this amazing view, and all this kind of stuff. And it's a house that's used for these for this in particular, for these videos. I mean, in my opinion. And. I don't know what they're doing with this company, but there's no way in heck they're selling that much in pest control in that amount of time. I don't care, you know, you can be the best salesman ever. I mean, I'm a pretty good saleswoman myself, big time. I mean, I really am. And there's no way. <laughs> uh. And we're talking in the heat. We're talking in the summertime they're doing this. Pounding the pound, 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 pound. And making it happen, you know, how many hours a day, how many days a week. Mm -mm. So is Scott Perky with all of his little, you know, companies, his little, his little umbrella companies, his shell companies, I guess they're called, to cover up other stuff. Is that what's going on here? Is that what EcoShield is all about? That's where Kaylee was going to go work. Did she find something out or something? I don't know. It's just it seems so strange to me. And and guess what? Guess who's and guess who's been working at that company? As so, I found it as far back as 2020. Jack Showalter. Yeah. Hanging out with the boys, you know, with the, with the teams. They call themselves teams. They're teams. And they're all over. 
all over the place. In fact, I found a very disturbing one that I don't even, that I'm actually afraid to even post, to, to tell you the truth. I really, I'm actually, yeah, really, really thinking twice about that one. I'm actually not, I'm not just thinking twice. I'm thinking like quadruple <laughs> about that one. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe somebody wants to collab with me on this. I think I think Ar Hayes might do some stuff with me. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. We'll do, it just kind of depends. Maybe I won't do it at all. You know that here. That's the thing is that you know I'll just hand it over to somebody because it's something that I don't know about those types of companies. I really don't. I don't know a whole lot about them. All I know is what I've seen. And what I've seen is pretty disturbing. To me it is. Because it, it, it makes no sense to me. Just like this whole Idaho thing doesn't make any sense. These the Idaho this doesn't make any sense. Period. There is a cover up, hands down, there is a cover up. And it's a deep it's a deep one and it's and it's it's been and it's been and it's been going on for a long time. Although I will say that this particular company, this particular shell company or whatever eco shell the pest part of it, is fairly new. Uh, I think maybe even like 2019. I have to go back and look, but I'm only I'm thinking like fairly new. But but all the pest guys, all the pest control companies out there, the legit ones, don't even want nothing to do with this company. Like they they don't even consider them a company really. So that tells you something right there. He they they basically say that they give them a bad name, that they make their job harder because of what these guys do. And then what they do is nothing. They sell you these these packages, and they they lie through their teeth. And I and I know this for I know this for a fact because one of my friends actually got it before I could get to her and tell her she actually she, you know listened to the spiel and fell for it and everything else. And she's dealing with it right now. So I know this for a fact that it's you know they may they. This reminds me of when I was working, it was many, many, many years ago, and I was working at a salon, a hair salon, and this guy, this black guy came around, he was, and he's like, he's got, he had this bottle of spray stuff, and we have our chairs in there, so we're like, you know, the baseboard of them, you know, it gets dirty all the time, right? Well, he sprayed this stuff on there and wiped it off, and it was like magic. I mean, it was like magic. And it smelled good, and I don't like the smell of any cleaning products, and it smelled really good. I was, it didn't bother me at all. And so we, of course, bought, you know, like a case of it, you know, not knowing, or the, the, the I don't remember who did it, if it was the owner or, anyway. So later, as we're using this, we're thinking, we're like, this isn't really as great as a guy, wouldn't, you know, it's not as good as his was, you know. Are we, are we mixing it right, or we do, or is it, or whatever, and... And, you know, come to find out, when you go to smell it, it smells just like water. <laughs> like he's sold us a whole case of water. One bottle had the stuff in it, and the rest was just water. And that's how I kind of feel about this, is that, that I mean, there's stories of them just walking up, like, when the people aren't home, and they're, and they're supposed to be doing the service. like cause, Because it's a service, it's, you're, like, you, it's an ongoing thing. It's not just one time. It's ongoing. So, and so they have to pay no matter what. It'll come right out of their bank account. And a lot of times the guys don't show up. And because these guys, you know, they're like, they're like fly-by nights. And so they sell all this stuff and they're not really employees of the company. They're kind of like the, on their own. And then they're, they're, so, so they're not held responsible. Neither is the company held responsible for this. So it's, it's kind of like one of those things. It's like you throw your hands up in the air. Like, what are you going to do? If there's something invisible, you can't grab it because it's invisible. And that's how this feels to me. That it's just, and I don't know what else, but it just, it's like smoke trying to grab a handful of smoke. It's just not going to happen. And it's just going to go, you know, dissipate in your hand. It's going to go away. So that is just something that has from the very very beginning of this this is this has driven me nuts um and then to find out that showalter is hanging with these same guys you know that are literally their parents are alumni of the university they have halls named after them in the university it's deep. I mean, they're, see, they're very deep-rooted 
uh, family names that are that's in this 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 um, company and I just can't help but feel that this is major like like that this is I don't know it just it will not go away I can't stop thinking about it so I don't know what got me off on this tangent right here but I think it's just the fact that is that oh I know what it was because I saw this with Enon with the Montana plates well I mean it's not Montana he's in Colorado actually but Utah Montana something about oh it just reminded me of Colorado. It reminded me of the of the of the shell companies that Scott Perky was is into, and all his like you know false false cities and you know stuff like that. His illusions and all that other stuff, and how this whole thing is like, like it's like a like an illusion, like it's a smoke screen, like nothing is real, like nothing's ten, nothing's concrete, everything's abstract. You can't like reach out and grab something. You can't you can't take anything that's being said as the truth because it's changing or or there's no way that could be you know like seriously i mean no and it's like so what is this somewhere there's got to be something that's concrete that you can grab a hold of and see what it is and so far i don't see anything out there that anybody has touched base on that is concrete it's all just, you know, a nightmare, you know. Like I said, a smoke screen. Smoke and mirrors. It's smoke and mirrors. It's, it's, it's a car salesman. It's a car salesman trying to get you to buy this car that's all so great. Blah, 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 when it's really just going to break down around on the, the next, as soon as you drive it off the lot. That's what this is. It's, it's broken. There's, it's broken. There's nothing <clears throat> that, there's nothing that works here that 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 we can grab a hold of that we can make work and make our brains attach to. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel. I mean, right on down to this. Hold on, just a second. Let me find it. Right on down to this. Didn't Kathy Mabbitt? say that she got there between 5 and 5.30. And that was all kind of weird to us because we heard that the sheriffs went to the Gonsalves' house, at their do showed up to their door at like around 4.30, right? And told them about their daughter. And then, and, then they, and then they gave the information about Maddie. Well, here's the thing. That's illegal to do that, for one. You don't give information from someone else's child uh, so, you know, if unless unless they've already talked to their parents or their whoever the, you know their their guardian or whatever, and they have given them permission to talk to another person to tell them this. Otherwise, that is not legit. So here you have this all being said and these timelines, and you have Kathy doing her interview where she says she didn't get there till five or five thirty because they're doing their work and you can't you know they, they don't want me around there or whatever. Well, she, she's a fraud, for one, period, in my opinion. She's a fraud. She works for them, but she doesn't work for them. She's never, she's not even there. She's just a face that shows up. That's all she is. And she's been doing it for 16 years. She just got reelected. And she just keeps her mouth shut is what she does. She does what they say or else. And you know what? Maybe she has to. Here's the thing that I'm seeing with this. Is that it's really scary there. And so these people that are doing this, I cannot blame her for being scared. I really can't. And I saw it in her face. There's things in her face that she wanted so bad to say this or that. But she's got she's got a job to do and she is on their payroll. And maybe it's just not just a payroll. Maybe it's bigger than a payroll. You know? Get what I'm saying? So here we go. It says, date of pronounced death, 11-13-2022. The time, noon. Okay. The call came in at what, 11.56? Is that what the call, call came in? For the 911 call? Say that say he's the cop, or that the cop shop, the guy's got his feet kicked up on the desk because that's basically what he was saying he was doing because nobody else was around. He was on the desk because he'd been on the desk for a while and he hadn't been out in the field for a while. This whole story that you know was talked about. 
So here he's just like, oh, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and take it, you know. So he ends up going because he, you know, hadn't been, well, might as well, you know, you know, go out there and do it. So, so let's say, let's say the cop shop's two minutes away. Let's just, just, you know, it's probably about three minutes away, but let's just say it's, you know, driving fast, it's two minutes, it, you know, but, but it's an unconscious person. So, you know, they're not like, I mean, I don't know how fast they would drive something like that. If all their unconscious people are, are, you know, deceased, I don't know, maybe they are. So he drives, he gets there at 11.58, First of all, he's got to assess the scene outside. And he doesn't know if there's an unconscious person outside or if they're inside. He doesn't know. But there's people standing there. Remember when he, when, <laughs> here's another thing. Okay. So remember when they walk up and all he, that it was just such a somber scene, a somber scene, I think is what they said. And nobody spoke a word except for one murmured dead one murmured in the out of all these people that were standing around the door open everybody's quiet and one just murmurs dead okay how many minutes do you think that's going to take let's just say it takes a minute okay so there's 11:59 right there now you got to walk into the house and up you know are you going to check the bottom floor first what are you going to do? Because, because literally that's probably what you would normally do. I would think, you know, if you're on a bottom floor and you don't know who's unconscious or where they're unconscious or anything like that, they never mentioned any, anybody saying on the second floor, dead, second floor, dead, three, third floor. They didn't mention that. So he's more than likely, you know, from what I know about, and I don't know much about it, but, but even, even in the movies, I mean, even in the freaking, you know, TV shows, they're going to check the first, they're going to, they're going to check each floor as they go up, right? They're not going to go to the top floor and come down. They're not going to do that. So he's going to have to check that first floor. How long do you think that's going to take? Probably more than a minute, I would think, unless he's really fast, really good at what he's doing. And he's like some kind of magical man. So that's, that's noon right there. That's 12 PM right there. And he still's not, he still hasn't gotten to the second floor. How has he pronounced all four deceased at noon how is that possible and he i don't believe he doesn't have an authority to actually pronounce you know to actually call that right <sighs> make it make sense nothing in this makes sense the only thing that I'm thinking now is that maybe we've all just stuck around and we have done that and they didn't expect that and we're coming up and we're, we're, we're digging into it and now they're kind of getting scared because what if there was a total, maybe, I don't know, what if this never even happened? What, what if literally they are protected people or some of them or all of them, I don't know, maybe they were the runners that, they, that the, the, the officers were protecting, maybe they were actually doing a job and they were actually protecting them instead of, instead of covering for the bad guys. Because how does this make sense? How was that so planned? That was planned, you guys. There's no way. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. Anybody that says that those officers didn't know that they were runners behind them, bull crap. He, they even turned to look. Both of them do. They turn and look to make sure they're across. And then when the second batch comes through, they turn their lights back on again. And then as soon as the last ones come through, there's another little spot there where they're in the parking lot in front of the, the tailor. And you can see people walking behind the bush. Then you hear, you, you see, um, so here's what's really weird about this. You see Nathan his, he reaches his hand out. Now his hand, it, they're trying to make it seem like it is coming out from whatever he grabbed from his pocket, like his, um, like his right side, either coat or pants pocket. But if you watch the way his hand is moving, it looks like someone hands him something. And that you can't see who's handing it to him because that's all smudged out or whatever. 
But he, because you got to look at his hand. It is so bizarre the way his hand is. It is so contorted. And then he does something with it. It's, he doesn't put it up to his mouth. He doesn't like, it's just the weirdest thing. I, you guys have to just look at it. But then he says to, to Tisdell, Tisdell, he says something like um, got her, got her or something like that. Or sh, sh, we got her or so, something like that. And and then Tisdell looks up from the ticket. He's he, oh, just trying to wait till, you know, one more. How long can I make this cursive little, you know, letter? You know, how many minutes can I make this L last or whatever? You know, he's looking down and he look. you can see his eyes kind of look up and you can see the smile on his face. The first time he smiled, the whole time, he, he just, this underlying, ugh, it's just creepy. The way I felt like it was, maybe this isn't not, maybe it wasn't meant to be creepy. Maybe it was a good thing. Maybe, maybe there was something really bad that was happening. And bef I mean, not that this wasn't bad. I'm not saying that. I'm saying maybe there was saving from something I don't know, something bad, maybe, but hit the smile on his face. And then he said something like, can't wait to see her or can't wait to see her or something like that. It was, it was, it was just weird. It just gave me the chills. And that was that. That's when he ripped the ticket off. Good to go. Everything's fine and dandy. And that's when the, the cam was done. Or he, they covered, they turned the cam off at 316. We'll get this. On the records, it shows that they weren't done with that. Um, it, this is on the this is on the actual records. This is a timeline till three thirty four. Well, guess what? In the in the I, the police reports, it says the identity apartments. They're supposed to show up there at three thirty eight. Is what it says there. Well, their cam, their body cams, when they showed up to there, it was three thirty four. Well, supposedly they were just getting done in Banfield at three thirty four. So what is going on? What's going on? They weren't very good at covering stuff up in either if it was good or if it was bad because they've screwed it up both ways. And I don't even, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I feel... Some, uh, it's so hard to describe. Sometimes I feel like... Like I know everything and, and then I'm just... Then I turn around and be like, I don't know nothing. And I never did. And then all of a sudden something else will like dawn on me and I'll be like, oh my God. And then I'll turn around and be like, nothing. Because nothing... You can't chew on any of it. You can't chew it. It's like... It's like something just dissolves in your mouth and you can't, and you never really tasted it. You, it, it was never, it was never, you couldn't even feel it in your mouth. It was like, I don't know, like vapor or something. I mean, it's just like, it's weird. It's like, you just can't, you can't grasp it. You feel like you can, but you just cannot grasp it. I mean, they're definitely good at that, but it's not going to last. I don't know what they think because I don't know how long they've been doing this kind of stuff, but it's just crazy to me. You know what I mean? It's crazy. And you guys, I've never done true crime before ever. This is like my first time ever delving into anything like this. And it's because it was so nuts that I just like, this is no way. And I have so many questions and I still have so many questions and I've gotten so many answers, but how do we know if these answers are correct? None of us do. And this whole case is pure speculation. It's in my opinion. It's fiction, not fact. Because we can't even trust what the police officers say or what they're doing at these times, these, these important, important times on this timeline. So important. That's the times that they've got it down as when the deaths happened. And where are the, the officers? Oh, they're less than a block away, ushering people across the street, giving fake tickets. And 
and not, and ignoring the cars. Okay, they're giving fake tickets in the middle of the night, three o'clock in the morning, but they don't look up when a car drives by. What the heck? That's just, you know what? It, it's weirder for them not to look up than it would be for them to look. I mean, it makes it way more suspicious when they don't look. <laughs> it's just so weird, man. It's so weird. You got plain clothes on there. It's like, did they just call them up and like, oh man, we need you. We got, you got to get over here right now. We got, you know, got to cover this thing. Or were they working that night undercover cops? Because T uh, Testel seems like he has something almost legit, you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's blue. The other one's not at all. He's just like, psh. he's like casual Friday, man. Casual Saturday, whatever you want to call it. Sunday morning, whatever. He had on his, he had on his church pants. He had his, on his holy jeans. I don't know. You tell me. Can't wait to see your comments on this one because it's a doozy. And a couple next videos I'm going to be maybe dropping. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to think on this one because I have a <clears throat> plethora, an eclectic plethora of photos of uh, screen record or shots and stuff. And it's like, I mean, there's only two here or two. I mean, okay. So when you have an album on your phone, right? Screenshots and you need room really quick and you're like, Oh man, I got to drop these. I got to make another album or something and drop these, put them in on this place or put them in this place. So I have more room on this place to do what I need on that place. Well, when you put, when you do that, they don't put them in the order that you're clicking on them. They take it and they just have a, it's like someone grabs a handful of, of like jelly beans and just throws it. You know, when you grab them, they're all in their color coordinated. You know, they're all the reds are together, all the greens are together, all the blues are together. But when you throw them, they just, phew, they're everywhere. They're all mixed up. That's how it is with your albums, with your photos. When they do that, you literally, don't, they're, nothing's together. They're not in any sequence anymore. And that's why I really just like doing that. Because, you know, if you're doing screenshots of like something that's got to be in a sequence, I try not to do those when I do it, but sometimes I just have to. Man, trying to find those again is like, oh, man, it's so difficult. That's what takes me so long sometimes, but but they're there. And that massive amount, oh, my gosh. So I'm weeding it through, but anyway. So I found, like I said, found a few, couple things today that I just wanted to put out there. And this one right here, this one blows my mind. I mean, I just can't even, this one just is just nuts. <laughs> I mean, it's like. I mean, I'm not laughing because of the deaths. I'm not. I swear to God, this is so awful. And if it's, I mean, and I, and here's the thing. I want to believe they're okay, and I, and I don't want to believe that this happened. I don't want to believe, but I don't want to believe they're lying to us either. It's like there's so, there's so many. I'm so confused. I am so freaking confused. And every time they're like, they're like, they're like during like the election, like whenever, you know. They, they just distract you with something. They'll throw something in there. Once, once someone gets close to something, they'll toss something else in there and steer you in another direction. Well, keep an eye out for that, guys, because that means that, that when they do that, what does that mean? That means that we're heading in the right direction, basically, and that they're just needing to throw something in there to get us away from that area. So is everybody involved? Is this one big, huge, huge thing i mean is this a a worldwide cover-up i mean i don't know anymore my side of the world don't know about it as far as i know maybe they do maybe i'm the only one that doesn't know about it oh my god oh that's how it feels sometimes oh man oh gosh well anyway i've ranted and raved long enough and i just you know God help everyone in their hearts and their heads and their, just their whole psyche, man. I'm telling you, this is just, and I mean everyone, the families, the friends, the people, the true crimers, everything, because this is just, it is not, it's not been healthy for all of us either at all. Not one little bit. It's, this is what it's like. It's like. The dog or the cat chasing that laser beam, right? And when they go to grab it, they can never, ever catch it. Never catch it. And sometimes 
it turns off and it like right where it's like underneath the door and it looks like it goes underneath the door you can't get it that way because there's a door that's closed there right but you go on the other side of the door and it's not there either it's gone you didn't get there in time or it was never there or it's back on the other side now or it's on the ceiling or, or in the closet whatever it is you can never grab it it's always out of your reach remember that the next time you choose to do that to your animal because it literally can drive them mad and that's no lie I don't do a laser with my cat anymore not even so anyway I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I actually cooked breakfast and I'm just sitting here I haven't stopped talking so and it's way past breakfast now so <laughs> alright guys well thanks for listening to me rant I hope hopefully um, someone like understands what I'm saying because I just don't want to be alone in this I really don't appreciate all of you and your comments and I'm sorry I can't get to all of them I mean it's just I mean I if I, if I had another day if I had like you know 24 hours full day like say the whole it was 40 instead of 24 I still wouldn't get to everything I mean that's how it's it's so thank you guys for answering each other back that kind of thing and if there's some there's been a couple people up in the in the comments that are just you know it's unnecessary you know the one lady calling me Michelle whatever I mean that's been kind of going around a little bit I mean there was another channel that was doing that too well it's just it's it's not true so um I mean I know who she is I do but I don't know her personally I've never met her uh and I haven't I haven't even man it's been months since I've even you know corresponded or even talked to her or answered back she I mean I've got so many emails I mean my, literally here's the thing is I almost can't even answer open up my emails anymore because it's been bombarded so much by that by her so I can't you know it's so I'm I'm also you know here's I kind of I'm not going to say that I don't feel bad that there's something going on with her that is that's not healthy but it's also not healthy what she does to everybody else either I don't condone that I don't condone that at all but I also feel like there is some underlying part like she's got there's you know some something going on there that she's not in control of right all the time sometimes me as she is if she's uh, if she's got it under control but I think that most of the time it's not the case and that and when it's most of the time not that case it's very it's um painful for everybody and her as well and you know I, I I would never I couldn't even never imagine having to deal with something like that and 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 I and I think she's really smart too that's the thing is I think she's really really a smart person and that's even di more difficult in a situation like that because when things get out of control the smart gets out of control too so but no I am not Michelle and um, so people that are out there saying that please stop spreading the rumor it's not true and then the other channels that are doing it too that's just not fair I mean there's I haven't you know, it's just not cool so anyway I appreciate all of you and like I said thanks for commenting with each other and and um, in the chats if I especially I mean especially I mean you guys there's videos I haven't even looked at the at the comments on and I feel totally bad about it but it's like there's just once I look on it I'll feel like I need to like answer everybody back and I'll see something and I'll and then I'll be like two hours later and I've answered maybe 20 maybe 20 people back because in each thread has got other people answering and I feel like I gotta answer everybody you know and I feel bad if I don't answer answer so basically what I usually do is I'll start at the beginning like when I get on there whatever it is and I'll work my way down as fat, you know through what I what I can before I have to get off you know because I mean I got other things too it's like this isn't this isn't a job I and mean, it feels like it feels like a job <laughs> but um but just know that I'm not ignoring anybody I'm not I promise <laughs> cross my heart <laughs> um it's so all right well now that I've talked another freaking six seven minutes all right I'm I'm out of here now okay I'm gonna leave you with this um little little question about this time of that the deaths were reported it's just, just not right 
And she's got the bottom part mixed around too. That's not how it goes. But the murder, the just should be the uh, yeah. And you, uh, yeah, she's just she's just a she's just a face. She's just a person they can put in that spot to call whatever they do because she's she doesn't she doesn't have any any say over this. Trust me, she's got no say over this whatsoever. This is not yeah none. If if that was the case, it wouldn't show. It was at noon because she wasn't even. She wasn't even called by noon, right? Wow, so crazy. All right. Oh, and the date of the release for this one was the 17th. So everybody was saying that the 17th is when they take, took the bodies out. That's what, I, what I've been hearing. You think they would have waited that long? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Anyway. All right. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate all of you, and... Thanks for listening to me blab. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>